So today's review isn't going to be anything very special at all. It's just a promo diecast from Napa. Uh, at about 2005, I believe, we look at the bottom. Actually, it says 2004. Hmm. I don't remember. I just remember, like, Michael Waltrip flipping or something in this car. Did he? I keep forget thinking he did, but he probably just hit the wall. Anyway, uh, yes, this was a store promo. I've been trying to sell this for a while, but uh, I've had no bites uh, for it, so even in a two for twenty dollars sale, so whatever. Maybe this video will help uh, get some interest for it. If you're interested in buying it, it's on Facebook, not on my page, but in the diecast trade groups. Uh, so don't ask me on YouTube or anything like that on how to get it. But uh, let's take a look at the box. You can see the uh, Earnhardt Classic Stripes logo. You have Michael Waltrip, 15 DEI Napa, on the side. 15 Michael Waltrip. The other side. And that's hot. It's pretty much the same design through everything here. Napa Racing, looking at the bottom here. You can pause that, read it if you want to. Uh, let's take it out. It's a very easy takeout. Just a few flaps. Uh, this is a gold series uh, promo. It's not uh, one of those big fancy uh, $60 ones. It's, it was the cheapest one Napa could get, obviously. But it's got, it's a pretty nice car. It's uh, and add a nice shade of blue on it, as typical Napa cars usually do. See the side of it, Oreo. Come on. Jesus. D uh, Domino Speech, as you can tell, this one is the uh, good camera that focuses. <laughs> uh, taking a look at the hood, and this one, hood has got more detail on it than the uh, expensive cars do nowadays, which is a bit weird, but uh, it is what it is. I do... I did like this car. I bought it at Goodwill, actually. I was very surprised to see it, but uh, I didn't, you know, I, I bought it for the intent of uh, trading it for something better or something like that, but uh, obviously that never happened. This is, the suspension on here, it feels like it's, it feels like it's got independent suspension. I think it might. No, but it does have springs on it, which is weird. But like I said, look at that undercarriage. Look how detailed that is compared to like a 124 nowadays. They just completely cheaped out on it. But it is a very detailed car. I did enjoy having it in my collection, but I think it's time to let it go. So, yeah, that's the review of this 2004 promo. If you like what you saw, you can comment, like, and subscribe for more. I will see you later.